let's get this started here. And let's take a look with our unit circle. So, so far for the unit circle, we dealt with these four points, right? Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we kind of work up, all right, so what we're going to do, the reason why we're going to be doing the unit circle, remember the first chapter, we were just dealing with angles. Where are angles? What quadrant are they in? How can we sketch them? Now what we're going to be concerned about are points on the unit circle. These are easy points to figure out because they're the intercepts. So we know that 1x or 1y is going to be equal to 0, right? However, now what I'd like to do is I want to figure out how do we figure out points that aren't exactly at as an intercept? All right. Now, fortunately for us, there's some very common points that we can deal with. And the first, the first one I want to deal with is what we're going to be dealing with at 30 degrees. Okay. So let's see if we can figure out how can we determine if an angle is at 30 degrees, what that's going to be. All right. And to do that, to find this angle, remember, what we need to do is we need to find the x and the y coordinate, correct? So we need to find how far this angle goes from here and how far it goes there, right? So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a right triangle, OK? Now, before I even get to a right triangle with this, if I know that this is 30 degrees and that's 90 degrees, then this angle has to be what? 60, right? And you guys remember in geometry you had 30, 60, 90 triangles, 45, 45, 90 triangles. Those are what we called special triangles because they had special relationships. Now, to kind of prove to you how everything's going to work, this is what I'm going to do. If I was to kind of draw a reflection, all right? And therefore, this would be 30 degrees. And this would be 60 degrees, all right? This whole angle then turn, would turn out to be a what? 60, right? So therefore, if this is 1, right? Because remember, we're talking about our unit circle. So what's the radius always? What's always the radius? 1, right? So if that's 1, and if this is a 60, 60, 60, then it's an equilateral triangle, right? So you could say this is 1, then this whole distance would be 1. But if it's cut in half, if it's bisected, then this whole side is going to be what? 1 half, right? So right now, I have 1 and 1 half, right? The only, form, the only length I do not know is this right here, right? And that's going to be, if we were going to look at it, I could say that this distance would be my x, and this comma is my, my y, which I figured out was 1 half. Does everybody follow me? OK. So now, how do we figure that out? Well, we created a right triangle. And whenever we have a create a right triangle, we always knew we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So let's do it. x squared plus 1 half squared equals 1. x squared plus 1 fourth equals 1 minus 1 fourth. x squared equals um, 3 fourths. Take the square root. x equals the square root of 3 over 2. OK? Follow me? Would I lose you in the Pythagorean theorem? Okay. All right, just remember a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Should have wrote it like that. It doesn't really, it, it's really leg squared plus your other leg squared equals your hypotenuse squared. So it doesn't matter which one's A or B. Okay. It's just the leg plus the leg equals your hypotenuse, right? Your hypotenuse directly across from your 90 degree. So the two legs squared, 1 fourth minus 1 fourth, 1 minus 1 fourth is 3 fourths. I take the square root, and the square root of 4 is 2. The square root of 3, I'm just going to leave it as square root of 3. So there, to find 1 half. I created an equilateral triangle so I could see that, oh, if that's 60, and then I make this a 60 degree, then that angle has to be 60. So therefore, if that's 1, that's 1, and that's 1. So if it's bisected, because the angles are bisected, that means the sides are bisected. So therefore, that has to be 1 half. It's kind of going back to old geometry stuff. So therefore, this, ang this point is square root of 3 over 2. Does everybody follow me with that? 
Just kind of, we just figured out what one point is. Well, the point is how far the x coordinate is out and the y coordinate, right? Because look at, the, I mean, look at this point. How far did I go over to get to this point, which was 1? And then how far up or down? I went 0. So this point where my circle crosses the x-axis is at 1, 0. However, at my angle at 30 degrees or at pi over 6, right? Because pi over 6 is the same thing as 30 degrees my point on the unit circle is square root of 3 comma 1 half. Now, the important thing for you guys to understand is we have a whole unit circle to deal with, right? Let's look at some reflections and see if we can figure out the other points on this. So if this is pi over 6, I have a reflection over here, right? This point completely reflects over the y-axis. So if this point reflects over the y-axis, my points can be exactly the same, but what now is going to be negative? The x or the y coordinate? The y. So now if I flip over here, my y is going to be still positive the same, though. But now my x is going to be a negative square root of 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. And then if I reflect this over the y-axis, or the x-axis, I'm sorry, now my x is negative, and what also is negative? My y. So this is negative square root of 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. You really just need to figure out the one coordinate point, which, you guys, which I kind of showed you why. And then you can just reflect it. Because so now this point is what? Square root of 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. Huh? Oh, yeah, negative 1 half, sorry. Let me write it. Thank you. Yep, negative 1 half, thank you. So that's how you guys go ahead and use that. Um, the main important thing is you guys need to know, well, if that's 30 degrees then, Mr. McLogan, um, what about 60 degrees? All right, so 60 degrees, if you guys notice, it's the exact same thing. Um, or let's look at it this way. So right now, you guys know that a unit circle looks like this. The unit circle in geometry, if, if my hypotenuse is 1, the ratio of the side lengths of a 30-60, where this is 30, that's 60, and that's 90, is 1 half square root of 3 over 2, right? So if you guys look at, what about this one? Well, if it's 30 and then this is 60 degrees, right? If that's 60, we know all the way around is 30. So you could say that angle is now 30, that's 60, and that's my 90 degree. So then what is this distance right here? Uh, well, this is 1. Your radius is always 1. So this is square root of 3 over 2. And your x is going to be 1 half. So now this point at 60 degrees, so from here to here, which is your next, which is your top point, which is right there, which is at 60 degrees, or pi over 3, is the coordinate 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. And then again, you can now do the reflection of that. Yes, I'm not doing the 45s right now. I'm just doing the 30, 60, 90. So then this one would be um, negative 1 half comma negative square root of 3 over 2. So yes, you guys should have your 45 degree angle missing in between there. But you guys kind of see how I did those triangles to set them up? Kind of. I know it's going to be new, but that's OK. Yes? So you made triangles out of connecting the two gradients, or the two? Right? It looks crazy, doesn't it? Yeah, go ahead. Try to formulate it. The, OK. Let me just go and stop the video, and then I'll just answer your question the best I can, OK? okay.